Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm going to give you all my quick two cents on Hubert Davis being hired to run the University of North Carolina's men's basketball program. I like the hire, first of all. I don't think it's a bad hire at all. I mean, Hubert Davis has been the assistant at UNC since 2012, so the nomenclature would be the same, more than likely, which means that the uh, Roy Williams system will still be in place. Um, you know, the, the since retired Roy Williams, of course. Um, and I don't know if the, a lot of the assistant coaches will still be intact. I think it will be. Maybe Hubert will bring in a couple of more of his guys. But again, everything will stay the same. Uh, the big time recruits who've committed earlier before Williams' retirement are now reaffirming their commitment. So, so that was obviously done for recruiting reasons as well. And, you know, Davis, has had a, you know, it's not like he doesn't come with cachet. He's played in the NBA. He played, had a 12 year NBA career, a solid NBA career, most of which was spent with my beloved New York Knicks. He did well for them as well. He also, you know, played, obviously played for UNC from 88 to 92, had a 102 37 record, um, won the 89 and 91 uh, ACC tournaments, played in the Final Four in the same year. And uh, also, one more thing people don't know about him is that he was the second highest. He has the second highest three point percentage in NBA history at forty four point one percent. Didn't know that. That's a good trivia question. Um, but all that aside, as much accolades as Hubert Davis has, I would have preferred Jerry Stackhouse. Now you know Stackhouse. He paid his dues. He's coached in the NBA. Well, he ran the a D League team for several seasons. Been at Vanderbilt for two. Um, and while he doesn't have a successful record at Vanderbilt. I mean, Vanderbilt is at a recruiting disadvantage in terms of name. And, uh, you know, plus you got to be really smart to get in. Um, but I just thought that Stackhouse is the bigger name. Would have resonated more of these kids out there looking to go to UNC, especially ones coming from in-state. But, you know, again, I like the Davis hire. I, I, you know, I like the fact that they're giving, they're giving the African-American a chance. And he's the, I think, the first African American to run UNC's men's basketball program, so it's a good thing. And I've seen people call, clamoring for Wes Miller out there. Who, for those of you who don't know, he's also a Carolina guy, played at Carolina, but he also coaches UNC Greensboro, and has done a pretty damn good job there as well. Uh, I think he took it to a couple of NCAA tournaments and the NIT tournament as well as an overall winning record. So he's a he knows what the hell he's doing as well. But again, you know. I think Davis is a good hire, again, and you know, as pain as much of it pains me to say this as an NC State grad, undergrad who hated UNC his whole entire life, or well, most of my life, I think he'll do a good job. I hope that he succeeds, and it'll be great for the ACC if if, if he succeeds. And you know, I think that all in all, UNC basketball is in good hands with Hubert Davis. Unfortunately.